In these videos, we're going to be talking about visual persuasion, and this information comes from an essay written by Katherine Hatfield found in the textbook Persuasion in Your Life. When it comes to visual persuasion, we know that we are constantly interacting with all sorts of different visual elements, images, signs, pictures, and symbols. And we also know that the visual can be a really powerful persuasive tool. Now, looking at visual communication and what it is, it's important for us to start with rhetoric in general and persuasion in general, just to kind of recap. So we've discussed previously how rhetoric is defined as the art of using signs and symbols to persuade. And the study of rhetoric was first done by Aristotle, and when Aristotle was exploring and teaching about rhetoric and persuasion, he taught about it mostly from a linguistic perspective. However, we know that persuasion involves much more than just words, which brings us to the idea of visual communication. Visual communication refers to the ways in which the images that humans interact with either intentionally or unintentionally, create meaning in our lives. And these different images that we interact with can be signs, symbols, pictures, photographs, art, the list goes on and on. And we interact with these different signs and symbols and pictures either intentionally or unintentionally. Sometimes we realize that we're doing it, other times we don't realize that we're doing it. And symbols can often help us to make sense of the world. Take a look at the safety signs on the screen right now. Believe it or not, these are an example of visual communication. When we see a stop sign or a yield sign, that tells us something. It tells us that we need to bring our car to a full and complete stop before proceeding through an intersection, or if it's a yield sign, that we need to simply slow down at the intersection, check for any uh, cars coming from different directions, and proceed with caution. So these symbols visually communicate with us, and symbols like these and other symbols can actually be persuasive. And we often fail to recognize the communicative power of the visual. So that's what this chapter is going to talk about. We're going to take a look at visual culture. We're going to discuss whether or not the visual argues. And we're going to take a look at the visual narrative and how visual persuasion is used in advertising. 